Hey guys, this is Thomas with another September scholarship just for you. And if you don't want to miss all my other scholarship videos, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's jump right in. This scholarship is called the Environmental Awareness Scholarship, and it is a $1,000 scholarship. Now, this is due on September 1st, so you definitely want to get those applications in. Now, are you eligible? So college students, high school students, student groups, as well as school classrooms can all compete for this scholarship. Now, what do you have to do? There is an 800 to 1000 word essay. So what else should you know about this scholarship? It's also due February 1st. So this is one of those scholarships that's due more than once during the year. So there's two deadlines. All right, now here's how to apply. Let's jump over into the website. All right, so on environmental awareness scholarship essay at reusethisbag.com, it says a biannual $1,000 environmental awareness scholarship essay. So again, it is $1,000 and it is due February 1st in the spring or September 1st in the fall. Now they do a lot of information on this webpage where they're kind of talking about what they do and that sort of stuff. So I will be skipping through a lot of it. You are welcome to read through all the fine print. I'll read a little bit here at the beginning. What is environmental awareness and what does it mean to you? So they ask kind of a lot of those questions just to kind of get your mind thinking. Uh, you know, do you wish your school or college provided recycling bins for, or for single use bottles? So things like that. If you're reading this, then we want to invite you to participate in the Environmental Awareness Scholarship Essay. The application window is now open. So again, I'm going to kind of skip through this. They say reuse this bag is where the funds come from. Here is the actual essay topic. 2022 Scholarship Essay Topic. Climate change is a hotly contested debate. Tell us about how you think climate change will impact future generations. All right. So that's the scholarship essay for you. It says, uh, please include the official sources within your essay to substantiate facts or claims. So you want to uh, make sure that you're actually using verifiable sources with the information you're putting in that essay. And it says, note, the essay questions will change every year. So if you're watching this in a subsequent year, the essay question will be different. All right. The following section discusses the rules and guidelines for the uh, scholarship essay award. So we'll go through some of this. All right. Again, there will be two scholarships presented, each $1,000 in the winner's name to the accredited school in the name of the winner. The scholarship is not transferable. Uh, all scholarships must be submitted through the application form at the bottom of this page. And again, only one entry per person, group, or classroom will be accepted. If there are multiple entries, then you'll be disqualified. So don't do that. Again, college students, high school students, student groups, or school classrooms are all eligible to apply. All right, $1,000 again is the uh, scholarship award offered for September 1st, February 1st. The winners will be announced in the fall and spring each year. And they are free to use the awards however they choose, but they are encouraged to use their awards for continuous study development of their advocacy campaigns or simply to help fund their environmentally themed classroom activities. All right, and to recognize your commitments and efforts to make a difference in your community, every winner will receive a certificate acknowledging the acceptance of this award. Uh, one thing they say here is like they want to make sure that you uh, let them know within 14 days to accept the award, those kinds of things. And here's past winners. So you can check that out and a little bit more of the fine print stuff. So, but that's how you apply for this scholarship. Now, if you want uh, the link directly to this webpage or to any of my other uh, scholarships due in the month of September, then I do have a PDF that is linked down in the description. It's free for you to download. It lists the eligibility requirements for all the scholarships in September. So you can skip the ones that don't apply to you and look at just the ones that do. So definitely check that out. That is free for you. And in addition, I do have a course that uh, if you're a high school student or if you're a parent of a high school student, it's really focused specifically for you to help you prepare for thinking about choosing a college and paying for college. It's really helpful information for that stuff. If you're already in college, there's still good information in there, but I will just acknowledge that it's primarily uh, for if you're still in high school, thinking about college and all that sort of stuff. So check that out if that's something that's interesting to you. Otherwise, you can continue to watch more videos with this playlist here about scholarships, or you can check out this video that YouTube thinks you need to watch next. Either way, we will see you in the next one.